Teresa Jackson actually uh, participated in the previous movie, and uh, she basically said that they were starting a sequel and uh, they needed other actors. Uh, I came to a filming session uh, back in November and uh, then volunteered. I've met a lot of new people. Uh, I'm also passionate about Star Wars and uh, I haven't looked back. I think that Flynn feels the most at ease when in the middle of combat. I think he's got more of a beef with the Sith than most Jedi do. And instead of it being philosophical, it's much more personal. I trust this plan about as much as I trust a Sith. There are Jedi frontliners who have been fighting on Rusan and are good at what they do that are having to um, protect this Padawan. I think he has uh, much more of a passionate streak in that sense. Basically, I think it's a story of uh, self-exploration and uh, the importance of duty to a Jedi. Finding yourself among the chaos of everyday life in a wartime situation. Back in April, we had uh, our big fight sequence, and uh, uh, I tried to push as many people uh, that I could from the Minnesota Force to come, and I uh, actually had a couple of people come. And, just hearing their reaction to the whole thing and uh, seeing their eyes light up when you know, uh, reminiscing about the April filming events, is, it still makes my day. Uh, we do a lot of charity events, uh, everything from uh, Make-A-Wish to uh, Ringing Bells for the Salvation Army. So, uh, do a lot of stuff with Big Brothers Big Sisters. You know, meeting all the people is still just absolutely great. I have a great time every time I come down. We never have any fun. No jokes, no, uh, no, you know, putzing around, no changing lines on the fly. Just, you know, coming up with the craziest stuff and, uh, trying to make people laugh while they're, you know, being filmed. While we're on a time, you know, time constraint. I, we're just having way too much fun. I completely write, uh, two of our big, fight scenes for the for the film. We always try to try to put in plenty of plenty of action with uh, lightsaber battles. Uh, I originally wrote the entire uh, ambush sequence with people fighting the wrong opponents and it took me like four weeks to finish. Uh, when I got it done I you know, was talking with Dave and all of a sudden he's like wait you, you two are going to be fighting someone else. Crap! I had to uh, completely rewrite the uh, ambush fight, and uh, I had half the time that I originally took. It was, uh, it was a real pain, but uh, it ended up looking really good. When Colin and I were filming the campfire scene, I just could not get my lines down. It was, it was really frustrating for me. The atrocities. Action. I trust that plan is mud. <laughs> Take two and action. I trust that plan. After ten takes, it starts to get a little irritating. Um, but, uh, you know, it, even if it's like s someone else making a mistake, or, you know, not necessarily even making a mistake, but just getting one more take for, you know, for luck or what have you. When he, when he got me on the project, he's like, yeah, do you want a you know, small speaking role? And uh, I'm like, sure, why not? You know, thinking I'd have you know, a dozen words, you know, maybe two or three lines. And uh, he's like, all right, well, here's your character. You know, here's what you're going to be doing. Here's a script. I go through and read the script, and uh, I have, I'm like one of the main characters. I'm like, I can't back out now, but uh, I'm so glad that I've done it. Now I get to do all the, you know, all the stuff between the fight choreography to uh, actually doing the fights, which is you know, what I enjoy the most, and uh, you know, just getting to hang out here too. It's just awesome.